Welcome to a new episode playing Call of Duty Mobile and uh, talk about energy technology. In this episode we'll have a closer look at nuclear power. You can see here at the bottom uh, the nuclear power plant on this map and what we will do right now is uh, let's jump onto uh, the nuclear reactors you can see on the right hand side. Uh, on the left hand side the two cooling towers the river which is needed and uh, yeah let's talk about nuclear power how this how this works you know, we are right above the nuclear reactor first let's get some weapons and take a look at the reactor this is the core so where the energy is produced what we do is we take uranium and have a fission of uranium atom, so a heavy atom. Uh, we use uh, neutrons, so nucleon, uh, to split this heavy atom, this uranium-235, into two smaller atoms. And uh, by doing this, what we do is we, we get energy, which is used to heat up water. So that's the, the idea of these uh, power plant similar to a coal power plant it's a thermal power station using or generating heat to generate electricity and um, yeah the, the 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 use of nuclear power is rather old 1950s we've started to build nuclear power plants um, and uh, yeah my idea was generate a lot of energy because that are huge power plants with a capacity of gigawatts um, a reliable energy source of course we've had some severe accidents you probably know in fukushima also wait a minute there's some guy let's have a quick look okay gotcha let's have a look what he has in his box um, yeah, and the, the idea you see here, these buildings, uh, auxiliary buildings uh, to you know, control the uh, fission process. Uh, you see these two cooling towers, so what we need is in this uh, process, this um, yeah, steam process, Rankine process, that's the name of this uh, thermal uh, circle process is that uh, we, we heat up the water with the fission or by fission of the uh, uranium atoms. The water is boiling, we get uh, hot steam and this hot steam drives a turbine um, and this, and this uh, turbine generates electricity. It's that simple. Then, then what we need to do, and you see this here on the right hand side with this river, uh, to have a closed thermodynamical circle, we need to uh, cool down this hot steam to get uh, water, and this uh, water is uh, pumped back into the fission reactor. So there are two different types of um, um, nuclear power plants, boiling water reactors. So the water is running across the, uh, the uranium and uh, is boiling or we have a pressurized water reactor so two cycles of some details we, we do not need to take a closer look at so we have upgraded our docks Friendly canine unit incoming. Uh, again there's someone wait a minute where is he uh, here we are okay Oh, that's nice with these docks that they can show where the enemies are. Okay, second guy. Um, where have we been? Yeah, so that, that, that's the, the, the idea that we have these closed circles uh, or thermodynamical circles to generate electricity. So they are just producing uh, or boiling heat uh, or hot water. Um, this process is, is, as I said, used also in coal power plants um, starting at the end of the uh, 19th century and this is it in the middle of the 20th century we used this uh, nuclear power uh, to generate a lot of, of electricity um, 
One big advantage is there are no uh, greenhouse gas emissions. So this process is free of uh, the emission of carbon dioxide. So the reason why nuclear power is discussed actually. Um, oh, wait a minute, again, I have some guys, where are they? Somewhere behind these buildings. Having a closer look. Not here. Let's get some ammunition on the right hand side. Okay. Friendly canine. Let's incoming. release the dogs. Airdrop incoming. Okay, so he's right in the uh, reactor building. Okay, let's hurry up and get him. Okay, that was the next guy. Um, yeah, as I said, there, there are no emissions and that is a big advantage uh, compared to other steam power plants or thermal power plants like coal or um, gas power plants. Of course, they don't generate uh, or boil water, but the gas power plants are also emitting greenhouse gases by burning uh, natural gas. And yeah, the, that is the advantage. Let's have a quick look or overview over our nuclear power plant. We can see here this part is for the grid connection that we can feed in the electricity to the grid. You see the two reactor buildings and the two cooling towers, some auxiliary buildings, and the grid, of course, just this tower. Let's have a look at this. Uh, of course, you have a lot of power you need to feed into the grid. Big power plant. Okay, in the background you see that the safe zone is getting smaller. Okay. Yeah, of course, additional advantage of nuclear power plants, they are reliable, so they can produce uh, energy day and night. That's... Uh, difference to wind power or photovoltaic systems which rely on the weather conditions we need sunshine we need the wind um, the full load hours so the hours per year which uh, is a measure to define or to, to compare different delivered. power plants uh, are rather high six to seven even eight thousand hours a year these nuclear power plants can generate electricity um, so that is that's very interesting. I think we need to leave our power plant right now, but we will continue to talk about nuclear power. But the safe zone is in the wrong spot. So let's walk through the snow. Yeah, that is the reason why the nuclear power is uh, in the current discussion at the moment. Um, which, of course, might help. We have a huge amount of energy demand globally. Uh, again, some shooting. Let's get closer. Friendly uh, canine unit incoming. And our dogs can do the rest. Okay, they don't find the guy. Then we need to check it on ourselves. Where is the guy? Chip terminal is almost ready. Oh, there is just this box. No one there. Oh, wait a minute behind us. Some steps. Ah, damn. Ah, and the next guy. I need to get rid of this marker. Uh, some armor. Uh, no, no grenade. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. So the dogs 
did for us. Mag, cover me. Oh, disturbing with the controller. That's it. Um, yeah, let's get back to the topic. Uh, the, uh, the the discussion is uh, interesting yeah, right now. Oh, the next one. Uh, headshot. Perfect. Uh, why nuclear power is in interest uh, at the moment? Um, of course, there are some disadvantages, which personally I think uh, um, lead to the conclusion that nuclear power isn't in interest for a future energy system without carbon dioxide emissions. And that are the, the costs. Uh, let's get a new sniper rifle. Perfect. And let's take car i think oh, no one's there well then let's take this jeep um yeah the the cost it takes five ten even more years oh, wait a minute friendly canine unit incoming next guy in this building oh, perfect um, as I said, it takes five, ten, even more years to build a new nuclear power plant. Uh, we've had a big boom in the 1970s and 1980s globally. Um, at the moment, we have uh, 440 reactors, so not power plants, because one power plant might consist uh, of uh, two, three, four reactors, and we have 442. Um, reactors globally but at the moment there are just a couple of countries really built some of these power plants that's all really expensive a lot of countries are planning this but planning does not mean that they start to construct them um, in, in Europe there's just uh, there are just two reactors um, under construction in the UK and uh, Slovenia um, Turkey has to one uh, nuclear power plant under construction but that's it so globally no there, there, there is no uh, new boom of installing new power plants as they are so expensive in the construction in the operation we don't have any solutions to what to do with the nuclear waste there is no solution okay let's get rid there is someone close to the windmill No. Okay, let's have a look. No one's there. Oh, it's not, not a windmill. Is it? Friendly canine unit incoming. Somewhere's over there. Chip terminal is almost ready. Okay, gotcha. What you can do is you can compare the levelized cost of electricity. So what is the what are the costs for one unit of electricity in kilowatt hours? And if you compare these, um, if you build a new nuclear power plant, you have to pay about uh, fifteen to sixteen U.S. dollar cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, wind or a uh, unit against um, shooting. Friendly canine unit incoming. Uh, where is the guy? Uh, some grenades. Be cautious. Okay, I will get you. Here we are. Okay. Down to the last five players. Um. Yeah. Uh, wind and solar are. Four, three to four times cheaper, and that is one big uh, advantage of nuclear or uh, disadvantage of nuclear power. That the energy from nuclear power plant is so expensive. If you buy uh, energy at the energy stock exchange uh, in Europe, you pay four or six uh, cents per kilowatt hour, and a new power plant, not an old one. Um, which has been built by subsidized from the government. Uh, a new one 
costs 15 to 16 cents and that is a big issue of course we don't know uh, how to generate electricity very cheap you can't do this with a nuclear power plant and we want to rely on cheap energy so the advantages if you compare the advantages and the disadvantages only tick. perfect um, if you compare the disadvantages and the advantages I have to say nuclear power isn't uh, a good solution for a cheap energy system in the future uh, which is uh, free of carbon dioxide emissions that does not work and um, again we, we don't have any solution what to do with the nuclear waste uh, and if there is a severe accident we've seen this in uh, chernobyl uh, in the soviet union in 1986 and in fukushima 2011 uh, there are two very interesting uh, short series you can have a look at of hbo and netflix uh, about these uh, catastrophes um, which shows if there's any problem of course they are rare but if they occur we have a very very big problem terminal is almost ready. Airdrop is so this is uh, something you have to consider and overall uh, you have to admit that nuclear power can't be a future energy system it, it's not that flexible we need this flexibility in future in a future energy system relying on the wind uh, relying on um, photovoltaics and hydropower we'll talk about this uh, in the next episode um, now where are the guys just one guy left friendly canine unit incoming Let's send the dogs and check if they can find him no one there okay we need to be cautious where is the guy yeah so let's uh, let's uh, um, uh, conclude nuclear power of course it's a well understood um, technology there are some uh, improvements uh, announced uh, with a fourth generation of new reactors they actually they are not available small modular reactors for example so smaller uh, power plants oh, let's see if something's coming here friendly canine unit incoming where is the guy um but in a future energy system that will not work so let's hide behind this container where is the guy no one there okay let's use a grenade the guy chip terminal is almost ready oh, oh there are the lights so there's a sniper rifle let's send the dogs and get him friendly canine unit incoming okay so overall i must i have to say nuclear power yeah it Six might be collapsed. interesting uh, but in the future energy system it we will not rely on nuclear power uh, we will rely on Protects and wind it's it's cheaper and uh, more flexible faster to install so doggies where is the guy send him to me here oh there you are let's check okay that's it yeah so um from my perspective nuclear power no that is not a system we'll use in the future let's rely on wind and pv so thanks for watching and see you next time